Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mudducks Touring Australia. We've got another video for you today. This video is about a trip that Scott, Scotty Rainbow, and myself uh, did recently around the Harrington, Crowdy Bay, Middle Brother, all those kind of areas, uh, certain few national parks, and uh, just thought you guys might be interested. This part is part one. Uh, where we finish up at the end of the night at our camp and of course there'll be another part for uh, the next video this is the general area we we're in so i hope you enjoy this clip guys sit back relax and we'll see you later on well g'day guys i'm at a little town on the coast obviously called harrington which is about an hour and a half from my place or thereabouts this is a little look over the water so uh, I'll tell you what I'm up to and why I'm up to it so I oh know you got to look at me sorry guys you have to look at me um, I'm once again on a trip I'm with Scotty again Scotty's just ducked off to the bait shop so you'll get to see him a little bit later on so as I said we're at Harrington now, from here, we're heading up to uh, Crowdy Bay, Crowdy Head area. We're going to go have a look at the lighthouse. Uh, we're going to do some national park type of stuff, probably a beach drive. Uh, we're going to find a campground for tonight, and then we're heading over into another national park, a little bit more inland, that I can't think of. Sorry, guys, I'll put the name in down below uh, when I remember it. And now uh, we're going to spend part of tomorrow exploring. But this is a midweek trip for us. Uh, so hopefully it won't be too crowded or too boring or too annoying or whatever. Whatever you want, guys. But um, we will see what we get up to. But uh, this is a very cool bit of waterfront up here. It's very nice. So you probably don't need to be looking at me. So I might spin you back around if you don't mind. And have another look at it. it and really guys it's not like you had a choice if you do mind I've spun you around anyway so this is all the foreshore at, uh, at Harrington so um, it's uh, it's not bad there's a couple of little pontoon boats out there that look like they're higher boats so um, they're pretty nice it's a very nice area this I've never spent any time in here and Scotty invited me on this trip so how can I say no to Scotty when he comes to take me to places like this this will be the first time Scott and I have camped together we've done those day trips we haven't done any camping so uh, this will be the first time we do that. Yeah, it's probably all I can tell you about what we're up to uh, at the present time. So when we do more things, I'll tell you about more things. Well, what you're looking at now is Crowdy Bay and Kylie's Beach. And in the distance there is the kind of areas Scotty and I are planning to go to across today and tomorrow. And like I said, Scotty is here. Here he is, running the show. We better pull back. He's a bit close there, isn't he? There you go. <laughs> So there he is, so he's always around somewhere. And like I said in the beginning, I'm glad he, he's invited me along. And hopefully, he just told me where we're going, but my brain, goldfish mode. Where are we going again, Scott? Uh, we're going today into the Crowdy Bay National Park. We're gonna go stay up here at Kylie's Beach Campground. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to do a drive up to Laurieton um, and then come back to the, I think it's called the Chambac National Park. I could be wrong, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But there's a lot of lookouts and 
things like that to uh, check out there tomorrow. So that's the plan for this trip. All good stuff. So it's mostly scenic, a bit of beach driving. We're not doing anything too difficult as far as I know. Even though Scott loves doing the hardcore wheeling, he's, he's going to be under control, he reckons. So that's what we're up to. So now you've heard it from the man himself. So that's the story, guys. So I'll give you another quick look around this this beach. Oh, it's beautiful today. Isn't it's this it? perfect weather. We've got we've we've nailed it. So we'll just give you another quick look. Then we'll keep going. We're going to head up the lookout next, I think. So we'll have the lighthouse, one of those places. Got a knee deep in some kind of plant life here. Ah, <laughs> oh, things we do. All right, back around to give you a look because you don't want to look at me. Uh, that's the beach all up there. Try and get there a bit closer for you guys. Can't do too much, but I can get you a little bit. But uh, yeah, we've definitely nailed the weather. Pretty nice part of the world. Would you believe I've never been in here? All right, we'll uh, make our way to the next cool place, but this is certainly a cool one. We've jumped out of our cars. We're at Crowdy Head Lighthouse. And that is the view back down over the beach where we just were. Going tomorrow. Yeah. Much yeah. We'll be back over here in this area tomorrow. Yeah, up in all those mountains and stuff where the tower is in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see the tower in the distance. You might be able to see it like that, maybe. But yeah, we're going into that region tomorrow. Probably just going up the beach today to somewhere up there. But um, yeah, we'll take you for a walk up past the lighthouse here and give you a look out over the what you can see. That's certainly a nice day for it, that's for sure. So I'm not sure what else to tell you about this just at a second. It's only a little tiny lighthouse. There it is, up there. So, doesn't need to be huge. But when we come over to this fence line, this is your view out over the ocean. So, it's pretty good. And that's your view of Scotty. Beautiful view. He's pretty good too. He'll tell you, he's not scared. But uh, yeah, it's a nice look. You don't have to do a lot of tilting up to see this little lighthouse. It's only really quite low, but it's up on this big headland, so you can't really miss it. So, obviously some old building structure here that's no longer needed. Might have been a the keeper's quarters or something. Back in the day, it would be all automated now, of course. The trig point, so it's up nice and high. It's well maintained. Yeah, nice little place and easy to get to. We've done no four-wheel driving at all yet. So, 
Anyway, that is pretty well everything I can tell you about with this place so far. Eighteen seventy nine is what that plaque is. So if I find out more about it, I'll be able to tell you a bit more. Just had lunch at the Crowdy Head or Crowdy Bay camping area. Crowdy Bay, I think it is now. Just had lunch there and now we're heading off back out sort of the way we came to get in here and uh, we're going to go down and uh, get on the beach. In the fight, again. Not going to show you countless footage of yourself and Scotty letting down tyres, but we're about to head out onto the beach. Obviously, we need our tyres to be a bit lower. Now, Scott's already told me he's going to go down to 15 pound, and I'm probably going to do much the same. And that's about all we need for showing you. I'm sweating tires down because you've got days you've seen that on a million videos. On the beach sorry about the wind noise but right on the beach and we come across this little lake thing which is uh looks like it could and the right weather conditions be an outlet to the ocean but at the moment it's just a little lake uh, looks kind of cool we're gonna go over this sand bank that we're driving on and out there to the ocean so there you go. Anyway, like I said, a bit sorry about the wind, guys. We're going that way, guys. Right up the sand. What a glorious, glorious beach. Reminds me a bit of Stockton. Uh, it's not. It certainly has that feel. I guess a lot of beaches feel the same. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. Okay, guys, we're on the beach. And we're in the softer sand. Now, I don't do a lot of beach driving with you, so I thought I'd talk about it now. Now, what we're finding here is uh, being in the softer sand, this truck's liking low range more than it liked high range earlier on. So you've got to find a gear that suits it. So I'm in low range. I think I'm about second, maybe third. Um, and that way my engine temperatures are staying down and my trans temperatures are staying down. Now I only know this because I have gauges. But um, if you don't, it's just something to think about because your engine and your trans can get hot on beaches. So I tried it on high range earlier, but it didn't like it. So I've come to low range and it's, it's better in low. Also, because of the nature of sand, it's 
thumbs out guys just remember the thumbs out rule because sand will throw your steering wheel around a lot even though you're trying to run with the ruts that you're rolling in they're very rarely dead straight so you get thrown around a lot so bear that in mind you probably already know this stuff but if you didn't hopefully that's helped you a little bit now I'm going to spin the camera around and show you what I'm driving and I'm doing about 30k an hour so um, speed limits on most beaches are about 40 but um, you know, try and check your local guides to let you know and I'll show you what I'm driving on now because it's it's not too bad and the reason we're in the soft sand is I don't want to get down below those bumps and find a patch of quicksand to be below the tide line so, you know that's what we're driving on now guys so I think you could drive down there but it doesn't look like anybody's been down there for a while Scotty's in front of me he's up here on this stuff so well, I'm also up here and for anybody wondering uh, I've got the 200 which is not as heavy as it has been on some trips but I've still got the PSI at 16 pound all round because I'm not overly heavy in the back like it quite often am. We're making our way up here towards this headland and I think we're finding a camp not too far from there. I think Scott knows where there's one. Okay guys, as part of our excursion, we've come off the beach down at Kylie's Beach and I've come to look for some campgrounds. So I'm here at Metcalf's walking track and Kylie's hut is 180 metres that way and Kylie's beach apparently is 500 metres further. So I'll take a walk there from the campground I'm camping at. But anyway, I've come up here to actually film the Indian Head campground so I'll do that shortly. But uh, I saw the sign for Kylie's hut. So I thought I might as well come for a look. I left Scott. He's down back at our camp, setting his campsite up. And he's going to go back down onto the beach and see if he can score himself a fish. So if he's not there when I get back, I'll go for a walk down there and find him. But it's a nice day and there's these campgrounds in the area, so I thought I might as well come and film them for you but that's not why I'm here at the moment I'm here to have a look at this Kylie's hut all right well I'm closer to it so I'll give you a look Kylie's hut. So we'll see what we can see in here. Some friendly little locals just out here having a graze. Look at that. Beautiful. And we'll come in here and see what we can see. And try not to disturb the nice lady that's standing here on the veranda. Open a window so that you can have some light in there. Oh, that's quite good. Uh, here we are at Kylie's hut. Oops. Oh, I got, oh, I got, I got a pretty good light. It's, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's plenty. So, there you go. This is Kylie's hut. I'm not sure of the origins. But, um, Kylie, um, Arthur used to come here and stay right. Okay. It's a nice looking hut. It is a remake, the one next door. Mm -hmm. uh, burned down, so oh, okay. you can see the stunts of the original. Nice. I'll go and find that in a second. But... Ah, yeah, there's the where the original Kylie's hut was. Very good. So they've rebuilt this new one we just looked in. Very nice. Well, that's a quick look at Kylie's hut, guys. And we'll get back to doing what we're doing. 
Thank you very much for your help. We'll, we'll get back out of here and go and find this campground. Over there, you can see Scotty illuminated beautifully in that nice orange. He's a very sexy man, isn't he? This is our camp. I should have showed you this earlier in the day, but I just didn't. That's mine set up over there with orange lights everywhere. We got the campfire going, because why not? But at the moment, we're hiding from just a little bit of rain. So, hence we're standing under the awning. So uh, you can probably hear that. Scotty's just done a very similar thing for his channel. If you listen, it's rain. I've actually pulled the pin and left camps for less rain than this, or having less, or having more cover than I've got now. But I'm not this time. So, that's how we are. So I'm not going to film any more tonight. Like I said, I should have filmed a little bit more this afternoon, but I didn't. We've just been sitting here gas bagging. We camped at Kylie's Beach Campground, and we knew rain might have been a possibility. So we've set up for it as best we can. Anyway, we're going to do what we can and hope for the best and go with that. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Cheers. Well, that brings us to the end of part one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Part two will be in two weeks' time. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great rest of the weekend or rest of the week, whichever one you're doing. Just get out there. Enjoy the bush. Cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. And we'll see you on the next one. All the best, guys. Bye. So walk, 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 and I keep on walking. I'm on the road.